Ladies and, friends, ladies and gentlemen, dear friends, it's my great pleasure to call on my dear friend Bernardo Barros from Cascais, one of the best places in the world, uh, in Portugal, north of Lisbon. Uh, and uh, so to say, and uh, even so, you know, legally we are based in Switzerland. Uh, we host our Horasis Global Meeting every year in Kashkais. It feels like home. Uh, last year, unfortunately, as you know, we had to cancel at short notice because kind of COVID happened, as you all know. But uh, Bernardo, my friend, he said, Frank, you know, let's carry on. You know, we'll wait until COVID is over. We will support you and we'll be back. So let me call on you, um, Bernardo, tell us more a bit about Kashkais, this wonderful place, which is real, your real home where you're living. <laughs> Thank you, Frank. Uh, hello, hello, dear guests, dear attendees of this Horace's Extraordinary Meeting, United States of America 2021. It's always a pleasure to be with you, Frank, and talking with you in your extraordinary event. But um, allow me to uh, a small correction. We chased you and we chased Horaces to come to Cascais because okay. we strongly believe and we continue to believe in the potential of this amazing event. Uh, and we believe that um, together and uh, working with your attendees and uh, discussing the future of the world in Cascais is how we grow. And I, physically in Cascais, like we did in the recent past. I believe we are together for the past seven years. First Horace's meeting occurred in Cascais in 2014, I believe, 2014-15. But for people to understand Cascais, we are a small territory, uh, 20 kilometers away from Lisbon, some call it the Portuguese Riviera, some call it the charm of the Atlantic coasts, and some even call it the best place to live one day or a lifetime. And you know this, Frank, because you are a local already, and uh, yeah. you are our friend for so long, and you know Cascais even better than I do, I believe. And um, we have a small city of 200,000 warm inhabitants, but the interesting part of it, it's 20% um, of our population, they are expats, and we call our beloved expats neighbors. So everybody feels at home. And I believe, Frank, you can talk a little bit about your experience as a local of Cascais and how you experience uh, the friendliness of our people, how do you experience our amazing restaurants, our amazing beach and uh, the promenade uh, that goes along all the beaches. And I believe better than your attendees listening to a politician uh, talking about his lovely territory, Cascais, and uh, the mountains surrounding Cascais next to the ocean, is you, Frank. And this is a, a little trick that I'm doing on you because this was not your prepared. <laughs> For you to tell us as a local, as our friend and our partner for the past years, what is your experience in Cascais? What do you feel about our people? How do you, how do you feel about our territory? <laughs> Thanks so much, uh, Bernardo. It's, it's our joint territory, I have to say. <laughs> Whenever you know, I land in Lisbon and you know, I drive to Cascais by car, I feel already the atmosphere, you know, the, the wind, uh, even the smell you know, of, of the food, of the trees, of the nature. It's really an amazing place. And um, just tell you a story, you know, always on the last day of our Horasis Global Meeting in Kashkais, we have a little trip to the city. And it's not like a, a tour, like organized tour by bus or anything like that. We just walk. So we leave the Congress Center. We walk around the beach to go to the old city. And then we just go to little fish restaurants around. And it's actually one of the highlights of the whole summit. People ask, but say, Frank, you know, uh, what is happening on the day? Uh, where can we go? What are the newest uh, trends when it comes to the restaurants? 
And uh, it's really uh, uh, an experience. You know, it's like an experience uh, combined, of course, with the content of the, the event. This I call it, Bernardo, the spirit of Cascais. It's really the spirit, maybe because uh, the Portuguese have been seafarer in the past, you know, when you went to discover America and Asia. And I think you got, still got this spirit, you know, of, of uh, excursion, of adventure, of um, going to places far away, but then always coming back, coming back to Cascais, what always the seafarers do, right? They come back uh, where the family is. So that's the spirit of Cascais. Uh, how, how would you describe it? Uh, because you live there, right? I, I believe, um, first of all, necessity 500 years ago um, brought us to to the world, and uh, necessity uh, drive drive the the people. Uh, they, they must be nuts by then by putting themselves in a small nutshell and and crossing uh, undiscovered oceans, trying to find new lands because we were and we are a small territory. Uh, in the middle of Spain and the, the Atlantic, the Atlantic Ocean, and some of this this Portuguese adventure started from Cascais. But I believe the spirit came because ever since uh, we 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 were, we learned to host. As you know, we were a neutral country during the Second World War. And for instance, one of the highlights of uh, of Horace's global meeting for me, it's after the gala dinner, I always invite everybody to have a drink at the Palacio Hotel. And the Palacio Hotel of the, was the center of espionage during the, dur during the Second World War, as you know. And uh, Ian Fleming... Ian Fleming actually wrote his first lines of 007 in the Palacio Hotel, and the real Casino Royale, his first novel, was written in the Palacio Hotel, and the Casino Royale is actually the Casino Estoril, one minute away from the Congress Center where we attend our ASIS Global Meetings. But ever since, we, we, we learned to host we learn to be friendly. We learn uh, the cuisine and all the gastronomy from around the world. We adapt. We evolved. We we invest a lot in education in order to receive better and better every day. We invest in education to 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 put our brilliant minds that come every day from our five universities in our small territory that can work for these amazing companies that you bring and for these amazing people that you bring to Oasis. So we are prepared and we are preparing our territory to become even better year after year. And we are missing your brilliant minds of your attendees, of your guests to come to Qashqai to discuss with us because we want to have a role in the future, not only in investments, because we believe that we are a perfect territory for people to invest, but to provide the brilliant minds that come every year um, out of our universities. So I believe the spirit of Qashqai is it's an entrepreneurial spirit. I believe it's a tourism oriented, uh, it's focused on sustainability, it's focused on environment, it's focused on getting new solutions to the world. We are a case study in terms of smart cities and we are a role model internationally in smart cities and now in smart tourism as well. So we adapt fast, we want to be innovative, we want to be, and we are groundbreaking, but we want to work with the best of the best. So one of the challenges uh, is to be together in 2021, June the 8th, I know that you want me to talk about this. June the 8th on the Oasis Global Meeting that will be digital uh, this year, but especially to, to get everybody in uh, May, June 2022 uh, in Cascais, physically, not digitally, because we want to meet face-to-face, -face, we want to interact, we want to discuss business, we want to discuss the future with everybody uh, in Oasis community. Absolutely, Bernardo. And, um, you know, we are hosting a digital Kashkai, so to say. Uh, it's almost like being there uh, digitally, but of course, it's not the real one. But uh, what we will do at this digital um, event this year on June 8th, as you said, we will talk about um, Kashkai as well, about um, investment potential, about tourism. 
um, also of um, portraying Kashkais as the center of global dialogue. I think that's how I see direction, uh, Bernardo, saying that in the future, you know, great ideas come up, uh, come out of Kashkais. You know, we meet once per year. Uh, we are at the Palacio Hotel, at the Congress Center, at the casino. And then, you know, people are getting inspired. You know, they have ideas on, on the future and how to shape the future. And um, that's the role I see. And uh, it's really Kashkais as the global center of dialogue, you know, with people coming from Asia, Africa, America, uh, from Europe, of course. And, um, yeah, I think um, it's it's a brilliant future. And next year, uh, promised, we are back. Uh, COVID will be over and uh, it will be time to celebrate. I believe so. And uh, and I, I would like to, to, to say to, to everyone in the audience that we are loathing your experience. We are prepared. Uh, we are ready. We are working a lot against this COVID virus. We were, we are probably an example in terms of a, a city of a community, uh, in this war against COVID-19. And, um, we are prepared to host you. And Frank, my friends, you are always, always, you should be an honorary, honorary citizen of Kashkais, actually. We are ready for you. We are ready for your Oasis events. But especially, we are ready to host your guests, your community, because they contribute not only for the dialogue, but they contribute for the future of the world in their own companies, in the, their own communities spread around the world. So not inviting all the participants that are here in this uh, global meeting, United States, but uh, this extraordinary meeting, United States, but to invite the, all the international community of Oracis to have a discussion with us in Cascais, digitally first, and then physically in 2022. But we want to be involved, we want to be a part, and we have a lot to contribute with our brilliant minds in the city, in our partners around the city, because we are, like, as you said, the center of discussion, and we are proud of it, and we are proud of your event, and we are waiting for you, my friend. Thanks so much, uh, Bernardo. I think this was a, a, a very nice uh, conclusion uh, to this event. Uh, and um, uh, it's not an end, of course. You know, we are opening, we are expecting uh, uh, first the digital event in June and next year all being back to Kashkais. I think we are writing history together, uh, the spirit of Kashkais and um, positioning the city as uh, the center of global dialogue. So please, um, everybody, um, Wait for um, further details. We'll send uh, in the next few weeks um, and put it in your calendar. And uh, looking forward uh, to welcome all of you. And um, Bernardo, definitely, I think, you know, it's a great idea to be uh, a citizen of Kashkais, not only for me, but for everybody, right? Everybody should be there uh, and uh, like a new global marketplace. So, <laughs> uh, but I think you have the last word, uh, Bernardo. If you want to leave a message to our audience, uh, please go ahead. The message is, first of all, stay safe, keep your family safe, because that's the only way that, can, that we can be together in the future. The second message is um, we are very proud uh, to have this community and uh, we are very proud as a city to be in the global discussion. As Frank said, we are probably the center of dialogue and we want to keep that way because the, we know that the cities the territories that most grow are the ones that can create, fix, and develop the talent. And that's where we want to be, Develop, developing the talent together with you. So we will wait for you uh, in the sunny Cascais. So we have 300 days of sun per year. Uh, it's like being on vacations, but we work a lot here and we will work a lot together with you. So thank you very much for this time. It's 2.30 a.m. in Portugal at this moment. Uh, I know in the United States, it's probably 6.30, 6.30 p.m., something like that. In the in our sister city, Sao Zalito in California, if someone is there for, for from our sister city in the United States, uh, our best regards, and we'll see you all in Cascais. Thank you very much for this time, Frank. Thank you, everybody. See you in the near future. Stay safe. Thanks so much, Bernardo. And uh, yeah, see all of us and all of you in, in Gashkais. Thank you. Thank Bye. you.